Thank you, thank you, colleagues. Um, the, the session was, as we said, impacting on place-based diversity and inclusiveness. It, what happened in the session, we had three excellent presentations. Uh, Lillian focused on the impact of networks in Kasumo, uh, talking about community-led park that successfully tapped into uh, the immediate and long-term needs of the, of the community. Uh, Emma looked at the role of institutions and organisations in a small Swedish town supporting the integration of the Syrian community and Eva Maria focused on a university-led project in the same town with students that aim to co-design and build a community sauna. So that gave us three quite distinct examples where we could um, compare and contrast the effectiveness of the co-production and the involvement of, of different community groups. Um, the, um, the common and different threads that, that, were, that were apparent, uh, as I say, we, we, the, the examples were really good at helping us to, to compare and contrast. The institutions and, and, uh, and projects that are likely to be more impactful, we determined, are those that um, can that have got more lasting and more resilient, um, th that they build upon networks in a more lasting and more resilient way, rather than ones that were that, that ignored any networks that might be in place. That meaningful co-production needs to acknowledge and recognize the power deficits in communities and to equally create capacity and confidence in those communities. And what was also common is that there was a, a shared understanding that where co-production is, is, has been designed to meet some kind of hierarchical agenda, so someone has said the project needs to co-produce, uh, then it's not co-production. Uh, top takeaway is reflections uh, that much work needs to be done over the long term in communities to increase the capacity and confidence to, in order for those communities to be in a position to, to um, be consulted and to have effective uh, contribution to co-production. Uh, that um, if co-production is a surprise to the community that it's being dropped onto, then that will not be effective co-production. Any projects that claim to want to contribute to uh, co-production need to recognize the long-term aims of that community and of the organizations that they're working with. And that um, even projects that are uh, co-produced and designed, um, designed as such need to be done so, need to be designed with an eye to the future sustainability of, of, the, of the project. In terms of critical questions, uh, I think this comes from me rather than from um, uh, anything that we came up with collectively, but it was to, um, there was a point in Kasumo about how uh, representative structures in the community have been very helpful in endorsing the view of the community. So I think there's a question about the degree to which the validity is needed from a broader community to legitimize the views of those that are co-producing. <laughs>